this content is going to be mildly different than the content I normally make. A few hours ago, somebody I have a lot of respect for asked me to take a look at a situation and see what I thought. The situation that I'm talking about is a person on Instagram who goes by Nora the Wolf. Now, the list of things Nora is being accused of is too long for me to go over in depth. I'll link the journals in the description of this video, but just to give you an idea of what you're getting into, it involves blackmail, child pornography, and rape fetishism. After looking over many of the screenshots of the direct message conversations, there was one minor discrepancy, which I wish to address in this video. Now I'll put a few examples of the DM conversations on screen. Notice how in some of them it shows Nora the Wolf, and in some it's Space Milk Nora. They are, in fact, to the best of my awareness, one and the same, and a little bit of digging shows how these two individuals are in fact connected, even though there is no direct connection made throughout these journals. Now, throughout the journals, they allude to the fact that Nora the Wolf is friends with Cristali. So, a quick search of hashtags on Instagram talking about the Cristali situation was where I began. This was one of the top posts on one of the hashtags about the Cristali situation, as you can see by the examples on screen. Digging through the comments of this post, you can see one from 42 weeks ago from one Space Milk Nora an account that's still active and public right now at the time of this recording. Upon looking at their profile, you can see that they're using a similar username to Nora the Wolf's current profile name and using the exact same picture in their profile picture. Moreover, this comment in the comment chain predates the callout post on DeviantArt, meaning this is not a new account. This is not something they created to throw people off of the trail. This is something that has existed even before they were being called out. In addendum, looking at these comments, it shows that they are in direct communication with Cristali by their own admission 42 weeks ago. Now, as I stated, this is not a deep lore observation of this individual, and I'm not going to go over this entire thing point by point. I was just trying to connect these particular dots right here, since the discrepancy did exist, and I felt that there needed to be something to clarify that to the best of its ability. Several other creators have already made videos calling out this individual and talking about the situation. I'll be linking those in the description, and I'll be marking the one that is in Spanish as in Spanish. Uh, this is just a quick uh, note. It could be Portuguese. I'm not quite sure. I'm not familiar with this creator, and I don't speak the language. It sounds like Spanish. It could be Portuguese. Again, I don't really know. So please don't go starting a riot in the comment section because of that, okay? I'm just trying to, you know... If this individual, this Nora the Wolf or Space Milk Nora, attempts to interact with you, do not engage. That is the best advice that I can give you right now. Do not engage, screenshot whatever they send you, and send it to somebody you trust or show it to an authority figure in your life so they can help you make a decision that you need to make. Do not engage with this individual. And if they request something from you that you know is a crime, report it to the authorities do not engage them. That's going to do it for this video. This is not going to be the commentary video for the month. That's going to come out fairly soon, but this was an important enough topic that I felt it did need to be addressed, at least in some regard, so that what little awareness I could spread, I made sure I did. Everyone has a part to play. Links to the artist who do my character stills will be in the description and the pinned comment, as will the artist who did uh, the logo for my thumbnails. I'll catch you later.